IT departments and managed service providers require storage architectures that balance performance, capacity, and data protection. However, there are many ways to configure your storage arrays to provide specific outcomes for your business. One of the first decisions you should make, whether updating your data storage or extending it, is how to configure data storage to meet the needs and compliance requirements of your industry. Should you deploy JBOD or RAID, while both leverage multiple drives, their underlying architectures, fault tolerance capabilities, and performance characteristics differ significantly. Let's break down JBOD versus RAID to help you determine which configuration best aligns with your workload characteristics, recovery objectives, and compliance mandates. What is JBOD? JBOD, or just a bunch of disks, is a storage configuration that combines multiple drives into one larger logical volume without redundancy. Think of it as stacking drives together to increase capacity. If one drive fails, only the data on that specific drive is lost. Unlike RAID, JBOD doesn't provide built-in fault tolerance. JBOD is ideal for expanding storage quickly, managing large media files or backups that don't require redundancy, lower cost storage for non-critical data. The trade-off, no automatic data protection. What is RAID? RAID or redundant array of independent disks organizes multiple drives into arrays that provide data redundancy, performance improvements, or both, depending on the RAID level you choose. For example, RAID 0 offers speed but no redundancy. RAID 1 mirrors drives for full redundancy. RAID 5 or 6 combines speed and redundancy with parity data. RAID 10 gives you both but with higher hardware costs. RAID is ideal for mission-critical workloads, environments that demand high availability, businesses where downtime or data loss is unacceptable. JBOD versus RAID. Key differences. While both use multiple drives, here's the core difference. JBOD focuses on capacity. RAID focuses on performance, redundancy, or both. JBOD is simple and cost-effective, but it doesn't protect your data. RAID adds complexity but delivers data safety and faster performance. How to choose between JBOD and RAID. When deciding between JBOD and RAID, it comes down to three factors. Risk tolerance, performance needs, and budget. With JBOD, if a drive fails, only the data on that drive is lost. That makes it affordable but risky unless you have an external backup solution. RAID, on the other hand, offers built-in protection with configurations such as RAID 1, 5, 6, and 10, making it the better choice for mission-critical data. Performance also matters. JBOD is simple storage with no performance boost. RAID can deliver speed with RAID 0, redundancy with RAID 1, or a balance of both with RAID 5 or 6. While JBOD is cheaper up front, the cost of data loss or downtime can make RAID the smarter long-term investment for many businesses. Can you use both? Yes, it is possible to use JBOD and RAID configurations as a deliberate and strategic choice based on workload, performance, cost, and fault tolerance needs. However, using both storage configurations increases operational complexity and requires meticulous documentation and monitoring. With the right tools and a clear plan, you can balance cost, capacity, and data protection to build a reliable storage environment. Data storage configuration is just one piece of a comprehensive backup and disaster recovery strategy. Visit ConnectWise.com to see how ConnectWise helps IT departments and MSPs manage, protect, and optimize their storage infrastructure.